Welcome back, Mr. Krause's class. Can anyone tell me what these animals have in common? Why are they the same? That's right, they're the same because they all start with the letter S. Can anybody tell me why they're different? Good, that's right, because they have different diets and they have different homes. Now a lot of these animals that we're going to talk about today are the same animal, just different types of the animal. And the first S animal we're going to talk about is the seagull. Which I don't really have a lot of information on the seagull, but it is a beach bird and it makes this sound. Um, our next animal is going to be the California sea lion, or seal. The male sea lion, or boy sea lion, is 6 to 8 feet long, and the female, or girl sea lion, is 5 to 6 and a half feet long. The male, or boy sea lion, weighs 440 to 660 pounds, while the girl, or female sea lion, weighs just 100 to 222 pounds. They have one baby, and they are carnivores. They eat squid, octopus, and other fish. The California sea lion's home is the Pacific coast of North America. also have the Stellar's sea lion. The male or boy sea lion is nine and a half to eleven and a half feet long and weighs up to one ton. And the female or girl sea lion is eight feet long and weighs 600 pounds, so much bigger than the California sea lion. They are also carnivores and they eat mollusks, fish, and crustaceans. They also only have one baby, and their home is the Pacific Ocean. Next we have sheep. Now, sheep are about 44 inches long and weigh 80 to 400 pounds, so that's a big difference from 80 to 400 pounds. They are herbivores and they eat grass. And they have one or two babies, but occasionally they have more. Um, their home is the temperate regions around the world. Now there's also bighorn sheep, which probably don't sound like this. But these sheep are four to six feet long and weigh 200 to 300 pounds. And the length of their horns can be up to 40 inches long. They are also herbivores and eat grass and have one baby. And their home is Western North America. We actually have some of those here in Colorado. Bighorn sheep. The next animal we're going to talk about is the sparrow, which I have absolutely no information on right now. But I will let you hear its beautiful sound. Here is the sparrow. Next, we're going to talk about squirrels. And we have three different squirrels to talk about today. So first we're going to start with the eastern gray squirrel. The eastern gray squirrels, it, gray squirrel is 8 to 10 inches long without its tail. And the length of its tail is another 9 to 10 inches. It weighs up to 1.5 pounds, so it's a tiny little thing. And it eats nuts, fruits, seeds, and insects. And it has 2 to 5 babies. Its home is the eastern half of the United States. Next, we have the red squirrel. The red squirrel is six and a half to nine inches long, and its tail is another six to eight inches. It's only seven to 15 ounces, so less than a pound. It weighs almost nothing. It eats seeds, acorns, mushrooms, bird eggs, young birds, and insects. So it is an omnivore. It has three to seven babies and lives in Canada and the northern United States. 
Next is the Western Gray Squirrel. It is 10 to 12 inches long, 20 to 23 inches long with its tail, and it is up to one pound, so still very small and light. It eats nuts, fruits, and insects, and has three to five babies. Its home is the west coast of North America. Squirrel. Now this is a stoat, and I know nothing about it. It looks kind of like a ferret or an ermine, and it sounds like this. I think it's in the weasel family. And lastly, we're going to talk about three different types of beautiful swans. First, we're going to talk about the black swan. The black swan is four feet long and weighs nine to 11 pounds. It eats grasses and grains and has lays about four to eight eggs. Its home is Australia and New Zealand. Next is the mute swan. It is four and three quarter inches to five feet long and its wingspan is six and a half to eight feet. It weighs 20 to 30 pounds and it eats water plants, insects, and mollusks. It has it lays four to six eggs, and its home is Eastern North America, Eurasia, South Africa, Australia, and New Zealand. So these babies get around. And the last swan we're going to talk about is the trumpeter swan. It is five feet long and weighs the males, or boy swans, weigh 30 pounds, and the females, or girl swans, weigh 22 pounds. They are herbivores, and they lay four to six eggs. Their home is southern Alaska, western Canada, and northwestern United States. And that's all we have for the S animals.